Birmingham. This is like four hours after I got on that thing. And I'm going past this yard right now. Which is game over, obviously. I'm going past it. I don't know if this train is gonna back into it or what. But there's something wrong. Something's not right right now, I can tell you. I cannot possibly understand how this could happen and I don't know about it, but we got a this fucking train is not going any further. And it looks like this yard is extremely far. Extremely far from anything. It's the kind of nonsense I just don't care about anymore. Yeah, the conductor's way back there. They're gonna back the thing into the yard. Look at this! Uh, what am I supposed to do? Why do they do this? Why does NS do this? It's so ridiculous. All right, so my train's backing up. I'm gonna get off the train at some point. This guy just pulled up and stopped. And he has four yard goat engines. It's a long train. I'm debating getting on this. I'm pretty sure the line would follow 20 all the way to Meridian, Mississippi, which is where I gotta get to anyway. I just get on and hope I don't, it's the only option that I see. And I'm hoping that that's not some just total local, but it could be. But this is this is terminating here, ridiculous. Terminating here in way west of Birmingham. Well, I don't know why this guy just pulled in and stopped. I'm gonna get on this. I'm not really happy about the engines. It's got yard goat engines. But as far as I can tell, the train's about 70 cars long. And anything this direction should be going as far as Meridian, at least. So I'm gonna get on, and that's where I gotta switch anyway. So I'm just gonna get on this train. Here we go. This was good luck that this train stopped. I sure hope it's going the distance. I couldn't tell you though, it's got yard goats on the front. Northern Alabama right here. Well, I had a negative feeling that this could happen. The third train may be breaking up in Tuscaloosa, which is backing up. I think we're completely breaking up the train here. Completely off the mains. I mean, I can leisurely get my stuff together and get out of here, but this is a process of ridiculous. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna guarantee it be delayed by at least a day. Hey, we're going, I can't tell if we're taking it apart or we just added some on the back. Maybe you just added them on the back, you know? We're going forward again. I haven't broke air. I haven't heard the air break on it. The air just broke. This, this train, this is going no further. What I just saw though, Amtrak, I'm right by the Amtrak station. I checked the schedule on my phone. I can get back to Birmingham or up to Meridian fast and both the trains are coming. I'm gonna get off this train and pick one of those. Well, thankfully I've got some enough dough to get a scam track ticket. It's only 20 bucks. I'm just gonna ride back to Birmingham and try again tonight with the same train. I pretty much think I know what the problem was. As I was watching last night, uh, the right train came past. After mine had already left, it kind of overtook the train I was on. It had KCS units. So that's that's got to be the indicator. It's about the same time. That, ridiculous. The train I was on would have been the 22Q, which is going to that yard. And I, whatever, we, we all make mistakes, but my mistake is going to cost me $20 and a day, which in this case isn't that big of a deal. deserted town of Irondale and then here's the tracks there's a lot of trains there is a ton of trains coming through this area you got the main line a couple tracks over this guy's putzing into the yard if you want to see trains this spot here in Irondale you will not see more anywhere else again this is the Irondale little it's it's really a rail fan area it's not called that this is one of the top rail fan areas I've seen Trains just creep 
in and out of the yard here. And then over there, you got main lines. That's a UP uh, lead train. I'm not sure which one that is. The police station is right on the other side of the tracks, but they're nice. And how would they even get over here? When you got the crossing just non-stop blocked by these trains, so highly recommended. What's going on? Waking up here on Wednesday morning. I ended up staying another day because I realized that I haven't really enjoyed anything here yet. And then I was walking around the uh, basically the west leads going into the yard, which is here. Believe it or not, that yard area is just right around that curve, well under a mile. Look at this camping here. I just decided to camp out, get a legit night's sleep. I didn't realize that it, so close to Birmingham you'd have this mountain park atmosphere. There actually is a mountain park up there I'm gonna go hike around in. These tracks here go into the yard, and then this here, this is the main. It's kind of hard to figure out. I mean, you look at this, you would not expect a big yard right around this corner, but there is. And here you got pine woods. If you know anything about the south, once it gets a little warmer, the bugs and everything else gets out of control. Mosquitoes. So here it's March 21st. It's a good day to be out here. It's a nice cool breeze still and nothing out of control. I'm gonna hang around another day and then should be on the train to Dallas tonight barring any more unforeseen issues such as this. I'm giving this Irondale Yard one of the top votes for hobo friendly spots in the country. It's just, look at this, this mountain, can't remember exactly the name of it, this park. The train yard is less than, it's like literally a mile that way. You got hiking, look at this, it's probably more pretty in the summer with green leaves, but at the same time it's overridden with mosquitoes, so I'm pretty glad I'm here right now. The thing I haven't spotted is a river. That's what we need. And then the beer, it's close enough, but it's not super cheap. A 12 pack of Yingling is like 13 bucks, which isn't awful. There's not really any good deals on beer, but I'm, I'm happy. I could stay here a week, honestly, if I had time. Yards down the hill, and then you've got the, you know, cold beer and the liquor store is another mile past that. Look at this. This is a place you could stay for a solid week and still probably not even be ready to get on the next train. Here at the yard entrance, I mean, you just wouldn't expect that this yard, this is a big yard. This is way out here in the woods. Look at this. Right up here, you got that park. Well, here we are. Attempt number two to head west. Uh, God, police station is right there. There's the train tracks. Anyway, um, my train should be coming in <clears throat> the very, very darkest hours of the night. And make sure I don't misidentify it. Time. So we get in position again, get on, and hopefully stay on to Dallas. 90% sure this is the right train. It's got a KCS front engine. I cannot overstate the fatigue right now that I'm feeling. Extreme fatigue. Far too late to switch trains now. I got a darn flat spot too, damn it. No way to tell. Going to bed. It's a little area. I'm out of here. Basically this whole line all the way to Dallas is just going to be paralleling I-20. I think that's it over there. I can hear the sound of a road. And it's not anything amazing scenically, but uh, just woods like this. 
I imagine this is basically what it's going to look like all the way till about Texas. Because I've been to Shreveport. I've been that far east. And you got occasional swamps going on. You got, uh, we've got birds now showing up. Spring is springing here. It's second day of spring. These are the kind of woods where you walk in about 30 feet and you're lost. Maybe not this exact spot, but you can see this is thick stuff. And again, I've been saying this, this is the time to be on this route or maybe earlier in the year. The, it, the mosquitoes, the bugs become Im impossible to deal with in these areas once it gets a little later on. I'm kind of surprised they're not already here, you know, and I'm glad they're not. And we've got the heat starting to show up. It was chilly last night, but the heat that's showing up right now, it's making me realize it's starting to be time to start heading further north. Because this place in the summer, it's just, it's unbearable. Meridian, Mississippi. Maybe on a different trip, I'll stop off and check this town out. I don't really have time or motivation right now. It's super hot right now, and I'm just worn out. On the trip. I think I'll make a point to stop here again. There's a lot of industry going on here, but yeah, I'm just gonna stay down and we'll be out of here shortly, I hope. So now we're splitting off Norfolk Southern, which is there, and now we're taking it's going to be Kansas City Southern Track, the remainder of the way to Dallas. The Meridian Speedway, it's called. I don't know if that means that it's really fast or what, but it's called Meridian Speedway, here to Dallas on KCS. So far, nothing fast about this. It's called the Meridian Speedway, but I don't know why. We are not, there's no speed. Look at this, it's like 20 mph at the most, all the way from Meridian. I've been going at this speed for hours. Look at that nice river though. I wish we'd stop so I could jump in that river. It is extremely hot, and the train is just creeping. This is like, I don't know, 45 minutes after the last update. Look at this speed. I don't, maybe it's they've got track worker going on or something. As usual, I didn't bring enough beer for this. Look, there's not enough beer. You need a keg of beer. This is like four days to Dallas. I just brought a 12 pack. I'm already down to like the last four beers. I'm just gonna run out of beer. That's what's gonna happen. gonna run out of beer. Again, ridiculous. Finally, the train started making progress. The train is well inside Louisiana. The landscape, we had a lot of pine trees, and those are gone. It's not a sign of those anymore. That said, I'd say the landscape here is not really any different as uh, all the way down to New Orleans. And also to the other end of the state, when I came through Shreveport last time, and that big pig was chasing me. That was just like this. I get going soon. That is guaranteed mosquito central right in there. 
near Monroe here. I'm just going to stay on board into Dallas, so it's going to get dark, and I'm going to be on board and probably get to Dallas sometime either in the darkest hours or tomorrow morning. Here, this is Louisiana. Again, it's not really a terribly exciting place to see. I think I should just get off here. The KCS yard is up there. I'm on this bridge. I think there's a guardrail, not a guardrail, a, a walkway on this side I can manage with. That should be the whole trip into Wiley. I'm gonna get off and uh, hopefully not end up in that lake. And if I do, hopefully it's deep. Well, fortunately, got a viewer here giving me a ride on this dam this is not near any like you know store as far as I can tell or bus system but it's close to a pickup spot here at this parking lot by Owen so this is Owen it's dark his shadowy figure Owen you're all of 19 years old and you're a fan of Stove the Hobo somehow or other. Yes. We're in Wiley, Texas. It, this is near Dallas. Somewhere close, right? I mean... Yeah, we're about 15 miles to the east. And how, how'd you get turned on to Stove the Hobo? Well, you know, just started hanging out around the Wiley yard about six months ago and started looking at videos on hopping freight trains and we were the first thing that came up. Nice. And... Now he's been converted. I'm Stove the Hobo. I'm here with Owen. Look at how cute and young he is. Yeah. A young sprout who's getting into trains. This is the uh, south side, I believe, of where the, the Tulsa train should be coming in. I'm not positive. I just saw one leaving going that way. That's south. This is Irving. This is not Dallas. Uh, not much going on. It looks pretty basic. You could just sit in that grass with some beer, hang out. I assume it'll be going very slow. Entering track warrant control territory. Now, what does that mean? That means no more signals. That means all switches are going to be thrown by hand. Like this. Even the, the sightings and everything on the main line. And that indicates, you know, less priority, not as fast. Honestly, it seems like I could just park in this grass with some beer and wait till the train comes. What is, what's your assessment, Owen? What's your assessment? Do you, do you, I, think, I think just waiting right here. Yeah. Where's the nearest place that sells beer? That's the only thing we gotta figure out. And chicken. I could go for some chicken. And I'm not doing it today. This is gonna be probably tomorrow or the next day. Be going along the young sprout some of the way. Uh, the intermediate crew change is Madil, or I don't know how you say it. Maybe the Tulsa. Because you don't drink beer. That's kind of ridiculous. Hey, I can foot the bill for it though. Whoa! Whoa! He's invited. He is now 
officially on the A-list for this trip up to Tulsa. Up here at the, the north end of the yard, it's kind of confusing. That's a train. We got two road power units on there, led by BNSF 9714. Why would a northbound have wood? You got wood there, and you got that wood there. That's Sierra Pacific wood. It makes absolutely no sense that this would be going north. Unless they've got wood that comes from somewhere else in the country I don't know about. In order to be totally sure what's going on, I need to determine what kind of wood that is. Spruce, pine, all that. I thought Sierra Pacific is all from the west coast, Pacific Northwest, etc. But this is an apparent northbound train in Dallas that's carrying it. So may, I don't know, maybe there's some weird routing that it goes on. But this yard's pretty basic. There's not a lot going on here at the moment. I don't even know if anybody's in that yard office. What's going on? Owen took off. He's got stuff to do. And uh, a nice viewer got me this motel. I've had a final chance to get a good night's sleep, which is about time. And the plan it's time to get out of Dallas. I haven't even really gone into Dallas. This is on the outskirts. There's really no point in dealing with this because the traffic here is so atrocious. I don't know how there aren't more road rage incidents going on here all the time. So the plan is to go down to Irving and uh, I'm hoping the Tulsa train is not as scarce as it looks. Waiting for the bus to get to the train yard and here we go, pack number two. This just ripped completely off while I'm wearing it. I don't know what to do anymore. I don't understand why everything is such shit quality today that I get. And it's, uh, granted, I've gotten a few secondhand items. I don't know what to do. Look at this. How does this happen? How on earth does this happen? I now have no pack and I'm a long way from the train yard. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. This is frustrating because this is the second pack on this trip. And I just wonder like, why can't this be done? Is this something that can't be done to make a pack that lasts? I mean, look at these. This is on there. This is on there. But the straps are attached to this garbage, which is like junk. 